I want people to know that it wasn't an intention to hurt the, the person. It wasn't not my intention. In reality, my intention is to protect myself and I wanted to stop the threat. I think I was doing my job, you know, to protect the property, um, protect the, the people that are here. My reaction was different than what I expected as a deacon, as a, a man of the church. I feel like, some, in a way, I feel like, oh my goodness, I shouldn't have reacted this way. But it, it, your, it takes over, I don't know, your adrenaline rush, it just went. What if he had hit somebody else? In a way, I'm glad that I was the one attacked because we have so many volunteers Elderly people that come for retreats, elderly monks. What if he had hit one of the brothers, one of the priests? That would be devastating. You know, I, I don't want people to call me a hero because there are, you know, oh, he's, you know, I'm not a hero. I was just protecting the community, the, the property. You know, you go, I couldn't sleep the first two nights because as soon as you are peaceful in your bed, you are going over and over again this to this thing, you know? How should I have reacted? So I I was talking to the head of the landscape. We both saw this guy that is walking up the hill in the, the parking lot going, I suppose, to the church, you know. We don't know if he's going to the church or somewhere else. We don't I question people, right? It's a private property with a public access. About eight to ten minutes later, the same person is coming back out. So he walks by behind us again, and as you, I saw him returning right on with the, you know on the corner of my left eye right here. I can see him returning, returning, and of course when I look, there comes a punch. And, and of course, you react to this, the, to the hit. I didn't know what to do. I was like, what happened? And, and you, you know, your first reaction, the guy didn't run away. He stood up his ground and I was confronted, right? So my first reaction was to react back. I start going to, to punch him too. And asking him, why did you punch him? So we, we engaged into this fist fight, you know, and uh, the, since I was pushing, he fell, he fell back uh, on the he ground. I landed on top of him and then I rolled to the right. And he gets up first and starts kicking me. So I get up real quick too, you know, to avoid getting hit on the face. I have a big bruise right here. I don't know if it was a kick or a punch. When I get up, the guy runs towards the, the founder's room. We call it, it's the basement of the uh, library. He goes towards that way. And of course, you know, you are in, your instinct is like, hey, what is he going to do? You know, I don't want him to go into any room and hide. And I talk to him. I hold him with his own hand up like this. Because this guy is now is talking in Spanish. He's saying, the devil told me to punch you. Let me go, let me go. What? I have two landscapers that didn't do anything. They didn't help me at all. Because they were like shocked, right? And I said, hey, come and help me because this guy is trying to get away. I never thought that I could react that way, holding his hand. And with my other hand, I called 911. This guy has a huge history of doing bad things. I pray for the guy. My wife and I, you know, we do the liturgy of the hour and, and, and we pray for him because, of course, if, if, like he said, he's being told to do things by the devil, well, we need to pray for this person too. So many people have criticized my behavior as a bad. They expect me to put my other cheek. Like, if you get punched, oh, did you put your other cheek? He's like, no. Would you do that if you get punched? I know Jesus will do it because he was perfect. I'm not perfect. 
Uh, I'm a follower of Jesus, but this is uh, the, one of the first time somebody hits me that way, you know. And, and of course, you never expect that to happen in a holy place. You know, you are here open to 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 people to have to have, to offer peace and silence for them to come and reflect, and then is instead. Being and being attacked by someone, that is very hard. But the brothers are, like I said, so kind that they open their thirteen hundred acres to for people to enjoy that the forest. There is so many people that are coming and so many people that are not respecting the property because they are treating this like a public park. I wanted people to know that. We all vulnerable. We all, we all are sinners. We are all weak, in a way of. I, I don't believe that many people will have. Oh yeah, kid me in the other cheek. There's no way. Probably Christ will be the only one.